Hello, friends and family. This is Min Lu E2 here, and I just want to welcome you to uh, the show where we show you guys how to find fraudable items on Amazon and sell them for a profit onto eBay. So this is show. Uh, this business model is called drop shipping. Uh, drop shipping business model just came out uh, a couple of years ago because of the internet. Basically, we're gonna act as a reseller. <clears throat> Or retailer, we're gonna find products on Amazon. We're gonna research that product onto eBay and see if we can make a profit. If we can make a profit, we're gonna list those items, and then we'll wait for when the buyers win that item, they're gonna pay us via PayPal. If you guys don't know about PayPal, PayPal is an online payment processor. It's kind of like a bank. So when they pay uh, us, then we'll transfer that money into your bank account. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, when you first start this business, PayPal is going to hold your money for about 21 days. But in the course, which was uh, from a company called DS Top Nation, we show you guys how to uh, get that money in faster. And then you, as a reseller, you're going to go to Amazon website, and then you're going to order that product and have it ship directly to the buyer. So that's what's called a uh, drop shipping business, and uh, and it's just taking the retail business online. You know, as before. When we open, when we open up a, a shop to uh, sell products, resell products, um, you know, we had to worry about a lot of overhead costs. We had to worry about uh, the buildings. We had to worry about hiring employees. We had to worry about uh, getting uh, the products and shelving them, which is you know, a lot of money. Uh, but with, with that business model, this was a lot of competition because, as you know, the big box store just uh, out out. Out sellers because they pretty much have everything in the in, uh, in the store, uh, so we couldn't really compete. Put a lot of us out of business, but with this online the internet, it just changes everything because we can compete with the with the big players. Because usually uh, eBay is going to be on the first or second page when uh, <clears throat> when uh, customer searches for a, an item a product, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, gonna start looking for products to sell. And so what we are on is we're on Amazon and we're on eBay. This is where we uh, mostly start. And yeah, when we get here, we're gonna start on Amazon. We're just gonna look for a product. And uh, let me see, look around the house, and let me see what I can find. Oh, let's use the word fish. I have, I have a goldfish. Uh, crackers over here, so let's use the word fish. So as you can see, we're, we're looking for the word fish, <clears throat> and there's more than 500,000 results. But uh, Amazon is also out of sellers that sells on Amazon, so you want to take our results down to products that are, that are shipped directly by Amazon. And we're, we're going to move down on the left side of the screen, and here it says free shipping by Amazon. We're going to click on this. And as you can see, we took our results down to items that are shipped directly by Amazon to about 80,000. That's still a lot. And we're going to go to the product section right here. And then we're going to look for these Prime logo. So these Prime logo uh, <clears throat> means that it's shipped directly by Amazon. But then we also need to look for items that are over $35 so we get free shipping. And see right here, this is uh, $5.45. It says free shipping over $35. So we're going to look for items over $35 to get free shipping. Right here is the same $24, not, no free shipping. And then some of uh, you've been asking if you can use a Prime membership to ship products to your customer. And the policy on Amazon is Prime membership is for end users only. So we're not going to use that Prime membership. We're just looking for the logos right here. And we're going to just scroll down and scroll down. We're going to look for products. So, almost there. $27.99. We're going to look for items over $35. So, then we'll go to the next page. Just going down. So, this is, a, this is how we start our business by researching the products before we bring it to uh, the marketplace. Uh, eBay is uh, one of the biggest marketplace, uh, online marketplace in the world, as you know. Okay, so let's move down. Let's go down. 
actually looking for that product, so we can uh, start our research. So here's one, here's a product that's selling for $59.96, we see this prime logo, and what, what I also look at is these reviews right here. They have good reviews and a lot more reviews, I mean it's more likely to sell. I'm going to click on this product, and we'll scroll down here, and right here is the price, $59.96, and free shipping. And down here it says, ship ships from and sold by Amazon.com. That means we're good to go on researching this product. And I'm going to copy this title right here, and I'll go to eBay, and I'll paste this title on here, and I'll start researching this product. So I see that this seller, this product is selling on Amazon, I mean on eBay right now. I'm going to go to the left side of the screen. I'm going to go to the left side of the screen. I'm going to scroll down, and I see the this uh, section that says, says sold listing. What we want to do is click on it to find out what, uh, how much it sold for in the past. So as you can see, this we're in the sold section of this product. So. Uh, how you we know that by looking at this uh, little word and it says sold listing so sold listing section and then over here on the right side of the screen the numbers the sold number is going to be uh, in uh, green and then let's go back to Amazon and sell for 59.60 okay and then up right here we know that we can make a profit right here already so let's click on click on this. And this item sold on March, May 11 for $76.99. Now we're going to um, bring up our equation and figure out how, how much possible profit can we make by selling this item. So here's my equation right here that I drew up, and we're going to bring up our calculator also. The calculator is pretty much our best friend because it shows us uh, the profit to be made. And I just I just love it because you know it, it shows it just brings out the true number. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take the eBay sold price right here, uh, seventy six dollars and ninety nine cents, and we're gonna multiply that by 0 .85. Uh, the reason we multiply that by 0 .85 is because eBay and Amazon has about uh, fifteen percent fees. So we want to take that fees out of the way so we can find uh, the profit. Uh, usually it's actually like less than that, 13.23, something like that, but we round it up so if there's any other extra cost or whatever it is, or we just made a little extra. Then we're going to take $76 and multiply that by 0 .85. Oh, $76 and 99 cents. We'll fly that by 0.85, and we get uh, $65.44, and we're going to move that down here again. Uh, bring this down, $65.44, and we're going to minus the cost on Amazon. So we'll move back to Amazon website for this item. So sometimes, as you can see, this has a different picture right here, but this has a different picture too. But uh, what we want to do is, if you want to find out is it the right product or not, you know, we just look at the model number of senses already here, and then we can click on this uh, picture, and then we ha can have see other pictures available right here. Okay, so so we move on, and we will go to the Amazon website again. And we'll minus the cost of fifty-nine dollars and uh, ninety-six cents. Minus fifty-nine dollars and ninety-six cents. So that's a profit of five dollars and forty-eight cents right there. Perfect. That's exactly where we want to be. Right, in this business, we want to make at least a minimum of three dollars in profit. For each listing, uh, because it takes us about four minutes to list an item, we want to make all the time counts, and we'll just go to uh, the next item and we'll start researching more. 
Just go ahead and go back on Amazon, and we'll move back. And if you guys are wondering how come uh, on Amazon is selling for less than here and people buy uh, this product from here, it's because uh, a customer buys a product from everywhere. They just don't, doesn't buy it from one store. The same like uh, you out there right now. Uh, look around. Did you buy everything at the one store for uh, the lowest price? Probably no, right? Because it takes a lot of time to research all the items, and you know, time is money. When uh, yeah, when people can buy you know a product, and uh, if they say a couple of dollars, it doesn't really matter because their time is more valuable than uh, saving a couple of dollars. Okay, let's move on, and then uh, let's go back to Amazon, and we'll just move on to the next item. We're gonna scroll down, and I'm seeing this uh, master built indoor electric fish fire right here. I'll click on it, and we we search this product as selling for ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Get free shipping. Then this ships at Sprom and sold by Amazon.com. We're good to go with that one. So I copy the title. We'll go back to eBay. I reset myself right here. I'll click on the eBay logo, and we start the whole process over. I'll paste it on here. And as you can see, this uh, uh, item is selling on eBay. Then I'll go into the left side of the screen. I'll click on sold listing. Oh, nothing sold right here. And this is another way we can research this item. Uh, we're in the sold uh, listing section, but nothing sold showed up. So we want to move back here on the left side and re-click on the sold listing. And now we're in the active uh, listing section. Now, uh, since nothing showed, showed up there, we're going to start clicking on uh, these uh, products. Because the, the reason we start clicking on these products is because uh, certain listings have more than one available. So if there's two available and one for sale, one sold, the other one, the other one has to sell in order that for this listing to be in the sold section of eBay. I don't know about this. Is that a <laughs> different different picture? That's a mistake, I think. Uh, let's move on. So as you, here's an example right here. It says more than ten available. So if one is sold, this whole listing is still active, unless all of the item have sold. Then it'll go to the sold section of uh, this item. So we move on. Nothing sold there. Nothing sold there. So yeah, we'll just uh, go on with our research. So with this business, uh, you're going to spend pretty much half of your time uh, researching products and half of the time listing these products. Nothing sold yet, so I'm just going down. I'm, also, I'm looking on the right side of the screen right now uh, and looking at the price. If the price is higher and if I, there's a profit to me there, then I'll start clicking on it. If it's too low, then I won't click on it because uh, there's no profit there. And sometimes I, I'll have different products here too. And uh, I'll give you guys a tip later on when we finish this. So we start looking for other products. So right now, I couldn't find any products or any uh, any uh, listing that sold this product for a uh, profit. But here's the next thing I can do since uh, we're at that point. Uh, I'm looking all these uh, on all these uh, listing, and I'm I'm looking at the prices, and I'm looking at the prices that or can so. Um, is can sold or can sell for profit, and I'll click on this, and I, I can go on the right side of the screen, and I can click on see other items that this seller is selling. Okay, the, the reason I want to click on that is I, I'll do a reverse uh, search technique, basically to find uh, to find if these item that sold on eBay made a profit, and I can find on Amazon for less.
So right here, I'm in this seller uh, so uh, section. Uh, the other items that this seller is selling right now. And what I want to do is again go on the left side of the screen. And I'll click on sold listing right here. And here I'm seeing some items that are sold for the price right here. We're in the sold uh, listing section. And let's go ahead and uh, click on a couple ones right here. And here, here's one that's two sold before. I'll, I'll need to click on this to know the real price and the time it's sold for. So two sold for on March 16th at this time for $167.99. Now I'll co copy part of the title. Maybe I'll find it, maybe I won't. And we'll go back to Amazon and we'll research this product if I can find it. I'll just go down. See is that it? Oh, it looks like just go down, just go down. Next page. It's only 48 right here, so I can uh, spend a little bit of time searching researching this. Next page. Nope. I can't I'm not able to find this product right here. But then I'll just go back on and I'll research the next product. It's one for fifty six nine nine so far. I'll click on the one sold. More May second. Okay, let's go ahead and copy the title. So what we are doing is we're just matching up the products and looking at the, if this is the same products or not. Okay, I'm looking. There's the two, three of them. This one right here. Yep, it's the same picture. As you can see, there's one right here and this one right here. So it's the same item, and this is in white and black. So another tip is that if you're in a, a product on Amazon that has different colors, you might sell this more, and uh, make sure you click on it because they have different prices. So this one is 51.29, but so for a different company. But over here, the white one is sold by Amazon for 39.95. So now we can figure out our uh, possible profit if we're going to list this item or not. So I'll, I'll delete this and we'll do this one more time. So we're going to take the eBay sold price of $56.99. We'll multiply that by 0.85. To get uh, the price sold after fees, so we're gonna take fifty-six dollars and ninety-nine cents. We're gonna multiply that by twenty-five. We get forty-eight dollars and forty-four cents. And we're gonna move this number down right here. Forty-eight dollars and forty-four cents, and we're gonna minus the cost. So we'll move back to Amazon. Pull this up again. I'll pull up my calculator again. Oh, right at the first. Uh, and it's selling on Amazon for $39.92. And I'll minus the cost of $39.92 right here. And we'll get a profit of $8.52 if we're, we're able to sell this item right here for the same price. And if this if the seller sold it for on for this price before, it means uh, it, there's a big chance that we can sell for the same price again. Let's go to the, the next item right here. Check out which one sold, March, uh, May fourth. Usually, you want to use the the recent oh not that one the recent uh, time the recent date. I usually use this month or the month before, so uh, this training will use uh, this month and April because uh, we want to stay current with the, the market. Okay, um, there's a brownish one on the right side. I'm looking at that. Uh, is it this one? Oh, not this one. And since uh, I'm looking at this item right here, and I sell for 85.99, and if I can't find it on here, there's other items that are similar. 
So for example, this one right here is 6602. And it sounds for 80, this item sounds for 85.99. Then there's a real good chance that I can sell the same item or around that price too, because it's pretty much the same uh, kind of item right here. So I'll scroll down, I'll look for that, uh, that other one that's the same. We can find it. So, no, we're not able to find that, but uh, as mentioned, this is a very similar item right here. And I would list this for around that price. Okay. So, let's go ahead and uh, do a random word generator because uh, we, you know, we do the show live and uh, we don't do this beforehand. So, that's why we uh, use our random word generator, which is the hardest thing possible to find products because it brings us a kind of all kind of words. So let's go ahead and click on this uh, two times a day. One, two. And I'll start uh, researching if I can see products. And uh, this show is live and you guys can call in and this number and pin on this website and you guys ask me questions. And we'll go back to Amazon. We'll paste it on here. So 225 items right here but mostly in books. I guess you can see right here. Let's go ahead and Free shipping by Amazon. You got to take the results down to 65, and over here is all in books. So I'll just go to the next word. One, two. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna take the word wash only. It's two words. Wow! Now I get like almost more than two million results. I'll take the results down to items that are shipped directly by Amazon. I'll click on free shipping by Amazon right here, and we still have a lot, a lot, a lot. So Amazon has millions and millions of products out there, and thousands are coming on each and every day. So we're never going to run out of products to sell. I move down, I move down. I'm looking for that item that are over thirty-five dollars. Go next page. Now. Shoes? No, nope. I want. I mean, uh, pants. I want pants. I want some real products. I go to the next page. Just going down some more. Mm -hmm. Right, here's one right here. Sign on. I want to click back. Actually, if you see, okay, it's a sample. We see that it's a prime logo right here. And when I click on this right here, then on the main screen it says to ship and sold by a different company. So what we want to look for is we want to look for Amazon. So we'll move down here and it says this 12 new right here. We're going to click on it and find that item that are, that, uh, are uh, from Amazon. So here it is, right here Amazon. But it's usually shipped within one to four months, so we won't use that. That's way too long for a customer to wait. Uh, let's move back to uh, this. We're searching on Amazon, so let's go to the next page. So a tip is whenever you uh, see that something you're, you're not sure of, just go ahead and, and skip it, okay, because there's millions of items out there, like we mentioned. So if you guys get stuck on a particular particular item or a particular product, go ahead and skip it. Okay, let's just go move down, move down. Next page. Move down, move down, move down. Okay, here's one right here. I'll click on that. And right here it says uh, sound for $374.98. Get free shipping. Down here it says sold by this company and fulfilled by Amazon. So if we see this right here, it's basically the same thing as Amazon selling this product. So we can use that this too. So basically, this is what this is: is this company right here, product stuff. They have this product, and they will ship this product directly to Amazon warehouse, and Amazon go warehouse this product for them. And of course, it's fees uh, that charges and uh, for them. And when a customer buy this product, Amazon go ship directly to the buyer in their box. So it's very much the same thing as Amazon uh, selling this product, and it's a, a great program where. 
uh, you know, small companies they have a product and they want to bring it to the market and uh, they don't have to worry about uh, warehousing a product very much, uh, renting the space and uh, worry about all that kind of thing. So it's a great program. So we're going to copy this title and we're going to research this product on eBay. I'll copy it and let's go back to eBay and we'll paste it on here. Oh, let's go down and I don't see of that same product right here on even on the active listing section. Go ahead and go to the sales listing. No, nope, it's not on here. So if this product is not on here, it means that if we list this, we're going to be the only ones uh, selling this product, which is really great because we're, then we have no competition pretty much. And yeah, I would list this for at least a minimum of three dollars in profit, but I would list this a little bit more, maybe uh, maybe a little less than the listed price right here. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the next item on Amazon. Let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. Next page. Next page. Here we come. Nope, not yet. Almost there. Okay, here it is right here. Uh, wash and wax kit. I'll click on this. Sell for thirty-seven ninety-five. Free shipping. Sold from uh, ship from Amazon. I'll copy the title. We'll move back to eBay. We'll paste the title onto eBay and we'll research this product right here. And we'll go to on the right side, left side of the screen, go to sold listing. How much is this for? 37 and 47. This a little bit there. Here's April 23rd. Okay, March. That's a little bit a while ago. But let's go ahead and pick up the April right here. $47.95. Then again, we're going to use the equation. We're going to multiply that by 0.85. We get $40.75. And we're going to minus the cost on Amazon, which is $37.95. And that's almost $3 right there. Okay. This is borderline. And uh, yeah, I would list it. A minimum of $3 profit. And let's go back to eBay. And we'll go back to the sold section because I see uh, some that's sold that's not in the. Uh, so section. Let's go click on that. I bring us up to the active listing right here. Now click on this. I see this this last one right here. That means one sold. I click on the sold, and I'll see that in April it's sold for forty nine ninety nine. So I can use this fries right here instead of that add a fries. Uh, forty nine ninety nine. Multiply that by point eight five. Get forty two forty nine. And I'll go back to Amazon. I'll minus the cost of thirty-seven ninety-five. So that's four dollars. Okay, that's perfect. That's where we want to be. So we we'll list that. And the next step, of course, is going to what uh, what other items that this seller is selling. We have about thirty items right here. Let's go ahead and go to the sold list section, listing section. The price is too low. We're looking for a uh, profitable price right here. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down. This one in April. So, okay, let's go ahead and click on this item. Two sold. We'll click, click on that. April 16 for 99999. Copy uh, our title. Oh, move over here. Copy is a little bit easier. It doesn't really matter where you copy it, as long as you uh, can find the item. So here's the item right here, but as you see, there's not, no profit here, because 15% is $100 is $15 already. So no profit there. We're we'll back and we'll go down. Nope, we're back in March. So let's go ahead and go back. Go back and go back to uh, this one right here. And we'll look for other sellers. Let's go ahead and go to this one right here. Oh, two sold. Wow. 
go ahead and save this a little more. I'll sell for $45 right here. So the reason we click on that to sell because uh, the price differs. So for example, uh, this one active is $53.29, while these sold for uh, less. So we always want to go for the sold price before, not the active pricing right now. So let's go ahead and go to uh, see other items that this seller has. Well, it has a lot. Okay. Let's go ahead and move down and we'll click on uh, sold listing. So we'll scroll down and uh, tip is on the left side of the screen right here, you see the price right here. Okay. So we want able to make a profit by selling items on Amazon at least $35 to uh, make a profit. So we want to list those items, of course, uh, for $55 or $60 and above. So let's go ahead and put on $60 and we'll see what other items we can find. So if it's too the cost uh, is too low, then uh, we'll maybe sell it. But so I'll click on this one right here, and we'll copy this title. Go back to Amazon. I'll paste this on here. Oh, here it is. Here's the profit maker right here. We'll pull up a calculator: seventy-seven dollars and. 14 cents. I'll multiply that by 0.85. We get $65.56. And we'll minus the cost of $61.14 right here. $4 perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. So usually on the show, in less than that, we find a profit of at least $100. So uh, we have about 10 minutes before I show you guys uh, the website. You guys are going to get, get the training from. So I may be going a little bit faster to uh, get to that mark. Oh wow, seven sold right here. I Means uh, it's a hot seller if it's a uh, profit. Okay, right, one seven six eighty five May May. Okay. Copy the title and pop, copy the top uh, part of it. Doesn't matter. All right, is this item right here? It's a base model and a Bluetooth model. Let's go back and uh, is this a base model or a Bluetooth model? We can find out by going here. So this is a base model. There's no YouTube right here. So let's pull up a calculator. It's uh, 175.85. We'll apply that by 0.85. Get 149.47. And over here on Amazon, it's selling for minus a cost of one forty-one ninety-nine, uh, eight dollars right there. And if this sell well, then you know similar items will sell well too. So we can go down here and we can look for more products. And remember, we're looking for the Prime logos. Move and here's the Prime logo right here. And we we'll go to the next page. So let's go ahead and research this Prime logo right here. Yeah, same thing, we get to this section as says sold by this company and fulfilled by Amazon, which is the same thing. So we're good to go with that. Copy uh, part of the title. We'll move back to eBay. I'll reset myself right here. I click on the eBay uh, logo. I'll paste on eBay. Here it is, but no profit there. Yep, no profit for this item. So we can go on to and, uh, do the next item. Same thing right here. This company fulfilled by Amazon. We're good to go. Paste it on here and we'll start researching. 179. Okay, let me see how much it is. 193. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Nope, there's no profit there. Looking, looking, a whole bunch of products here. How about this one? It has a lot of reviews right here. It's a good thing. So we should buy Amazon. Copy the title. Pace. Here's some of it right here. It's three. Let's go to sold section. Uh, section. How much is for? Fifty-two dollars, and this sixty dollars. Uh, Not a lot there. 
So when we move back and we go, we're in the active listing and we'll just start clicking. Oh, three sold. Okay, how much then? And so far, okay. So April 21st, so for 74.59, there's a profit there. Uh, take 74.59, uh, more flat out of 0.85 again. I got 63.40, and we'll move back to Amazon. We'll minus the cost of $52.98, and we'll get $10 right there. Perfect, perfect. Exactly what I want to be, man. Ten dollars. So, since uh, I want to beat this uh, one hundred dollars, I'm gonna go a little faster. And and then we will go to uh, the, the training. So it's kind of like an over the shoulder look at uh, what we can do and. Uh, we're gonna find good products to sell right now, and we go a little faster. Oh, my speed, very much. Uh, okay, I'll reset Amazon right here. It's fifty dollars. Let's go ahead and click on this one right here. Sixty dollars, fifty dollars. Uh, no, not much profit. Let's go back. Seven, so how much is for one fourteen? Oh, there's some profit right here. Two hundred watts and four hundred watts. How much is four hundred watts? Okay, it's one fourteen. One fourteen eight point nine multiply point eight five goes ninety seven. How minus uh. 94, 96, two dollars. Here, exactly what it will be, but look how much he sold. One, two, three, four, five. So four dollar. Actually, uh, on in, uh, April he sold for a little bit more, and this right here is sold for a little bit more too. So we can add up a four dollar uh, profit <clears throat> plus another twelve dollars right here. Okay, let's go. Keep on going. Keep going. Oh, nine. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. One sixty. Okay. One nine six oh five. We'll find out a point eight five. One sixty six. We're minus the cost of. One sixty four three eight two dollars right there. I would uh, bring it up a little bit and reach that three dollar uh, three dollar minimum right there. And what I'm looking at this is this ship and sold by Amazon dot in easy open packaging, which means this item won't ship in the retail box. So if I were able to sell this, I would uh, label it, put this in the description also. Because usually a uh, customer, uh, uh, that way they have more option. If it's shipping retail box, uh, they can give it to other people easily. But for easiest thing, uh, ABC is you can go ahead and skip it and go to the next item. Uh, that's the easier way. Sixty-one dollars, fifty-nine. No, no profit there. Eighty something dollars. Seventy. There's a low profit here. Seventy-five. A minus uh, cost sixty-nine. Eighty-three, five $5. Right, dollars. Right, $5 times two, three actually by this month, actually a little more. So that's like well, more than $15 right there for this one uh, listing.
Let's pull up my calculator again. 8130, move 5.85. Oops. Mouse. Uh, minus 66.99. That's $2. So uh, another way we can also do this is we can also look for what other uh, sellers sell for the same item. Let's go ahead and go there. 81, 87. Let's go ahead and go to the seller and we'll uh, keep on researching. Yep, it's right here. 88, and this is $80. No problem there. Uh, I want to go ahead and see watches. So I'll pop right there. Sixty-eight ninety-five. Now, usually, I just look at the other numbers. I don't even look at uh, the product. I just want to match it up. So, one sixty-eight. Here's this one right here. Yeah, pretty much similar. Similar. If it's similar, then I can sell, sell that too. This is a cheap one. Okay, let me see if I can actually find this. Next one. Amazon. Oh, this one right here. I'll copy and redo it. Research this one instead. This one, Uh, 69. Oh, that's not it. King Cut. I look for the same one. 29. Two package pot. Okay. Space, space. Cool. This is a good profit right here. It is so far good for us, hopefully. Cool. April 23rd, 115, uh, 97. Multiply that by 0.85. $98.57. I'll move back over here. And here is the same item selling on Amazon for $59.99. Wow. Okay, so that's thirty-eight dollars profit right there for uh, this item right here. Okay, and see same picture, same picture. 
move along. So that's kind of the money that uh, we're looking at right there. Oh. What am I clicking on? Uh, not that one, but this one right here. 116. Ninety-eight. So with this business, uh, as further you go on, it more spins. You don't be uh, as fast or even faster. Than the point is like me. So right there, we reach over one hundred and six dollars in uh, proper items that we can uh, sell on eBay right now. And this is very recent right here, too. May fourteen, eighteen dollars. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to uh, the DF Dom Mission website. So this course is uh, by a company called DS Dom Mission. It's short for Drop Shipping Automation because pretty much uh, we show you guys how to uh, drop uh, dominate the drop shipping business industry by being a special specialized in, in this. I'm locking in. I'm locking in. What's going on? Let me see if I lock in right. Uh, is that right? Is that right? No. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, what's going on? Okay. Look, hold on just a second while I pull something up. Okay. Hold on. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, let me lock in using something else. Okay, now I'm locked in. For some reason, it didn't, uh, one, let me lock in for some reason, I don't know. But I'll show you it. So right here, we're in the main website, the back office of the website. And everything yeah I bought everything uh, on a training course and okay, minimize this a little bit I'll show you so this course right here get the DS stop mission pro which is 1995 a month and I'll click on this right here and we got we start get started uh, when you first start uh, over here to step one and step two watch these and then then go into the DS Automation Pro, go to module one to five. Uh, go down here, watch this right here. <clears throat> Start here. Uh, watch the next video. Module one, moving your mind uh, set, uh, moving forward. Setting up your eBay account in the U.S. If you have already, uh, if you already have an eBay account, then we're going to use that. Uh, outside the U.S., you can do this business too. Uh, usually, I say. If you have an eBay, PayPal, and bank account in your own country, but pretty much anyone can uh, uh, do this, but they need to meet a certain requirement by you know, having like a, a, a card, a credit card that we can use to pay on Amazon and have it shipped directly to the, the buyer, and then uh, yeah, setting up your uh, yeah, like a bank account. But I'll I'll write something up to uh, make possibly sure. But for the main time. Uh, just to make clear that you can do this business too. If you have an eBay, PayPal, and bank account in your own country. But if you uh, don't, then you can reach me or the SLM Show Pro and we'll give you some tips on how you can get, get started without that. But for now, yeah, that's the main thing I want to say for that. Uh, module 4, listing your first item, really important. Watch this and I'll show you guys step by step uh, on how to list the item. Uh, follow it direct. Uh, all it completely and fraud to avoid right here and there's a list down there and there's a video is more uh, certain products we don't want to sell because uh, it has a high return rate or uh, the manufacturer uh, doesn't want uh, not approved for manufacturer for us to sell and things like that uh, listing your autonomy and just pictures really important um, I didn't give you a tip earlier but use the best picture available for sale because pretty much 90% of uh, Adam's sales online is about the pictures, the 
picture real far in because people say the picture is worth a thousand words. So that's what it's, it is about. Uh, module six, speaking of your listing, it shows you guys another way that we can list items, products faster. Uh, Dropshipping Spider, we show you guys uh, a way of uh, finding products. Uh, quick information update, right? Watch this, really important. Next page, international item location, right here for international people. It will show you guys how to do something to uh, sell in the US uh, right away. Uh, module 10, why 18% fails, why these people fit falls? Yeah. Uh, it's because um, they don't watch this training or know the completely business model. It's, it's basically the same thing if you ever start a, a job. You know, when you first start a job, what would be the first thing that the people that work there tell you to do? They're going to train you to do that job properly the first time because uh, if you don't, it's going to cost people money or even the job. So, no, the business completely before you start. And uh, yeah, always train. And certain people, uh, I guess, uh, they, they watch this and they start the, the business uh, without the proper training. And then they would have uh, like big things go wrong with their account and stuff like that. And they would ask me uh, questions. And of course, I, I'm not able to help them because they decided to go on their own. And you know, it's it's just hard. It's just hard seeing that. But, you know, it's just I can't help them you know, when uh, that comes. All right, module 11, shipping from Amazon, right here. Watch this. I will show ship it directly. Uh, what PayPal hold your money? As I mentioned earlier in the show, you pay all your money when you first start out for 21 days. We show you guys how to get that money faster. Uh, how to deal with customer returns, right here. Living eBay limits, so you're gonna have a limit on how much uh, amount of items and how amount that you can sell uh, on every level. So we show you guys how to lift those limits as you go along in this business. Uh, multiple accounts on eBay right here. Yeah, we show you guys how. Module 16, uh, reselling from fulfillment orders. So uh, certain items uh, when you start listing on eBay, uh, sometimes my, uh, the price, for example, the price of this might change to a high price so there's no profit there uh, or it goes out of stock and uh, we show you guys how to handle that problem right here. Okay, and uh, tip is never ever tell your customer that uh, you don't have this item in stock because that is really, really bad. And then if the price go down, then we don't really care because <laughs> we make more money. So. Uh, module 17, uh, extra video caution. I'll watch that. Uh, key to success is the title. The title is what sells because uh, it, it is what puts your item, your product, in front of your customer. So, for example, you as a customer right now, if you want to buy a product on Google or on eBay or Amazon, what would you write in? So, and we help you with that with the title builder. Uh, eBay. B calculator. We show you guys a, a website to figure out that what you guys want. But I mostly go by the calculator. So listing your, uh, I mean, le learning about your Amazon taxes right here, real important because uh, certain states charge taxes on Am for Amazon, and we show you guys how to do with that. Amazon analyst right here. You got busting out those listings because it helps. Uh, you gotta grow your business basically. You have to have more items and popular items or to sell. So that's a tip right there. Okay? Because all the stores does it and you try and be like a, a big store right here. And we also help you another way of finding more products with this scaper back here. And then there's a spreadsheet back here, record your sales. And then there's a title builder well I'll go into an image proper which that's right besides the probably your image uh, upload to your eBay. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, title builder right here and for example, we want to sell a copy maker or something like that, right? We're in copy, uh, copy maker or something similar. Spelled wrong, but anyways, uh, spelled right this time. And then we can also see certain keywords down there. And what we want to do is copy those keywords and put in the title. And we want to fill the title up all the way. Then 
Let's go to the live training section. Uh, on this pro training, the S nomination company has a live training once a uh, once a week. So make sure you guys register for it, and then come to the training early for uh, about 15 minutes early because it, it runs out of space really fast. So you want to go in there. And then there's a special tax summer webinar we play right here. Watch that, and there's a replay of the live training right here. Watch those. And um, and then in this business, uh, this also the affiliate side, which is what we are for another 9.95 a month. So it's basically, you're making money online, uh, selling on eBay, and certain people are going to ask you, "Hey, what are you doing to make these kind of money like this?" And you just going to tell them, "Hey, I sell on uh, eBay, and uh, um, because of the Establishment Pro uh, course, and I'm also a reseller. I can sell this course, and you know, just make a, a little bit more money right here." So it's nine ninety five a month. I pull this up on the first. The first one will say I get fifty percent commission. So if you sell one, you invite your friends or family, or someone you know, to this business. You get that paid for already. The affiliate commission paid for already, and goes on the second tier. You get ten percent. The third tier, you get five percent, and it goes down from there. So this is another way you can build your business or your empire right here. And this is what uh, we also do. But uh, it's a good way because we show you guys how to be. Uh, uh, Independent of anything and have your own business, even though if anything goes wrong here. But yeah, you have your own business to do on eBay, and uh, by having this experience, uh, you can basically get any items and research that item anywhere and be able to make money. We yeah, you have a business. And uh, let me see, let me see what are we covering? Oh yeah, and of course, there's different levels, the same as. Uh, kind of like as a school, right? You have a uh, certain, if you go to college, you have like a junior, freshman, junior, uh, senior kind of level, right? So we have different levels too for DS Operation Elite. We show you guys even more suppliers. And it's cost uh, more, of course, nine, nine, 99 95 and it's all cash back, and uh, you make very much more income right here. And same as Unleash, and then DS. Domination Monopoly is we show you guys how to sell on Amazon itself. Very, very uh, crazy because I, I'm doing this right now. I've been on eBay for yeah for more longer, and now I'm moving uh, over to Amazon right here. So I'm sorry I have stocking on Amazon and stuff like that. Uh, so oh yeah, the special, the special, the special. If you join my team, or it's usually just me training you guys, but anyways, you join my team. <clears throat> I guess you guys gonna get us, uh, some uh, bonus this video training. Uh, the first one is gonna be the term the product search technique with with that much in price because it's gonna show you guys even another way, a faster way of finding products right here. Okay, that's one. The second one is gonna be uh, the training for low capital investment. So usually, I, I would recommend you having at least five hundred dollars in your account to start uh, doing this business because yeah, parents hold, hold your money at first, of course, then you're going to have to use your money to sell, buy the item on Amazon and ship it directly to your customer until your money is released. Uh, and uh, yeah, but you can, I guess you can get away with less by using this training right here because uh, we basically find items that are low cost, very low cost, and then we sell for a high price. And then number three is going to be the Amazon price and stock checker video training, and uh, yep, it's it's great. So you guys are going to see that certain price uh, on the item that it goes up, or and then if it goes out of stock or not, and you can change your uh, your listing to uh, to that. And then the fourth one is going to be finding the hot uh, products, hot items video training right here. And I guess that is it. Uh, yeah, and you guys can contact me. Any questions? Where is that at? Uh, Facebook. That's uh, number one, one. Number one way. Then email. Yeah, then Skype. Skype. I can't move this out here, but yeah, Skype is pretty much the last one I, I checked. And that is it, guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'm wishing you guys good luck in your business and. Money's gonna flow in your business from everywhere, up, down, left side of the screen. <laughs> but it's all only gonna trickle out. Okay guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye, E2 out.